Hello and welcome to the channel, or welcome back if you are so inclined. In today's video, we've got a quick comparison between the Razer Barracuda X wireless gaming headset and the Corsair HS70 Pro wireless gaming headset. I've got a proper review of both of these on the channel. The links will be in the description below should you want a more thorough review. But anyway, let's get into it. So we'll start with the mic test of both of these headsets, at least right at the start of the video you can get something objectively that you can hear yourself. So we'll start with the Corsair. Now, the Corsair isn't actually a bad sounding microphone and Corsair definitely have experience with making good mics with headsets. They've got the Virtuoso series and now the HS80 series, which are both very, very solid microphones indeed. And as you can hear from this, although it is a bit of a cheaper version, it's just a plug-in microphone, but it sounds pretty rich. It's got those undertones of the human voice, which is very good. And this pop filter manages to pop out or rather filter out those pops and hisses and things like that. It's pretty good. I'm quite happy with it for a headset that's 70 quid. Not bad, not bad at all. Which takes us on to the Barracuda X. Now this headset is effectively a reskinned Arctis 1, to be perfectly honest with you. But the microphone definitely sounds somewhat different. It's definitely got a better quality than that of the Clearcast mic that SteelSeries tend to use on the Arctis series. Again, the pop filter filters out the P's and the CACs, all very nice, which is very, very good. And it still sounds very good. It's a bit more tinny than that of the Corsair, but ultimately, both of these are more than passable. I used both of these headsets whilst gaming online with my friends and didn't tell them that I changed it over, and there was no comment. Nobody mentioned anything. So, happy days. Happy days with both of these. I think in terms of the microphones of these headsets, this is a clear-cut draw for me. Both of them are passable, but they're not excelling in any capacity. But there we are. A draw. Now, in terms of the build and design of these headsets, they're both put together pretty well and they're both heavy on the plastic and there is a lot of similarities. They're both going for that sort of retro classical headphone design, albeit with the oval ear cups. They both have a detachable microphone and they both have their branding emblazoned across the top. All very lovely. There are a few differences between the two. For instance, on the Barracuda X, there's no controls on the right ear cup. All of them are on the left, and that's just your basic mute switch, your volume wheel, your power switch. And on this one, you've got your auxiliary input as well, which is very good, and a Type-C connector, which is awesome for the, uh, the Barracuda. This thing comes in at only 250 grams as well, which is very, very nice. Now, they save a bit of that weight by this being predominantly plastic, but it is kind of robust and does flex back to its normal place. And they do use a sort of air weave material for the ear cup itself, which is about three quarters of an inch thick. And it does sort of let air flow through, but you lose a bit of that sound isolation with these. And it also doesn't have any padding at all over the driver housing. Now, that's sort of the same when we come over to the Corsair. Again, there's no, there's no panning at all. If your ears get on the inside, they will rub against the driver housing itself. But where these are kind of different, they, instead of having that sort of air weave material, do have this three quarter inch, very plush padding leatherette for the ear cup, which does isolate the audio rather well. And they do have this lovely little sort of cream with black stitch accent for the the padding under the headset now the padding for this underneath the headband is quite thick because this thing does come in at about 375 grams and the clamping force is kind of medium now the controls on this headset you do have the power switch on the right ear cup and then everything else on the left but there's not a great deal you've simply got your mute switch in the middle volume wheel at the top and then your micro b charging cable which is kind of disappointing because it does take a fair old while to charge but in terms of the build of these, although there's a lot of similarities, there is definite difference with the weight. But they both feel very, very good. They both feel well put together and they both feel like they've met their specific design principles. Now the Barracuda X is effectively the Arctis one with a different skin, to be honest. But with the lightness of this, you don't lose any comfort. And this just feels more robust and more expensive. But they're both put together very, very well. So in terms of the build of these, it's kind of... It's an even draw, to be honest. It is. They're both slightly different, but both very good for what they are. And they're both retailing right now, by the way, for less than $70. Win on that one. Win on that one. But let's move on. So what do we get in the boxes of these sub $100 headsets? Well, we'll start with the HS70 Pro because we don't get a great deal. We get various pieces of paperwork, all very lovely, including the warranty guide, which lets you know it's the warranty guide by 
writing warranty guide massive across the front. We then get this, the charging cable. This is about one and a half meters and it is a rubberized unbraided cable and it's micro USB for the charging of that. Now I don't like micro USB, it takes far too long to charge and Type-C is just better. We then get this, the wireless receiver. Now, if like me, you have your PC on your desk, the length of this will not be a problem. There's no chance of knocking it with your knee as you spin around in your chair. But if you have your PC under your desk, this could become a bit of an issue. Personally for me, most people have it on the desk. It just makes more sense and probably won't be a problem. That takes us nicely over to the Barracuda X, which definitely comes with more things. For a start, we get stickers and I love stickers. I don't really, they're annoying. And then we get this, just one piece of paperwork in this nice big format, it says Barracuda X across the front, all very nice. And then we get onto the cables. We'll start with the charging cable. Again, they're not, they're not braided, they are rubberized, but it does have a bit of texture on it and it does have the razor green blocks. And again, this is a type C charging cable about one and a half meters, which is very good. Doesn't take too long at all to charge this headset up. We then get this the 3.5 milli AUX cable, and I'm a big fan of these. If you wanna use this device with anything other than what it's compatible with, you can just put this wire in. It is a four pole connector, so the mic will also work as well as the audio, all very lovely. And then we get these two little bits on a wire. We've got the Type-C wireless receiver, which is very, very nice. We'll start with that. Now this is very small. If you don't have a Type-C connector on your device, so if you're using these on PlayStation, for instance, you can just use this cable. It's just a Type-A connector to a female Type-C port. You connect this in, just like so, and away you go. You can then connect your headset to the PC or whatever device you're using. Now, if you're using these on Switch, there is a little bit of a lip at the bottom of this. So if, you're, if your Switch has a case around it, you can still connect this in, no muss, no fuss. And again, this is just an extension cable, which is just rubberized. But there we are, in terms of what we get in the box, we have to give this to the Razer just because we get far more things that come with it, which is all very lovely. And it does have Type-C charging, always a win. But let's move on. Now in terms of compatibility for these headsets, it's a definite shoo-in for the Barracuda X. Now Razer do say that this is four in one multi-platform wireless connectivity, which it absolutely is. The Corsair HS70, well the HS70 Pro is compatible with the PS4, PS5 and your PC, and that is it. There's nothing else advertised on the box, so that's what it's compatible with. Whereas the Razer, the Barracuda X, is compatible with your PC, your Nintendo Switch, PS4 and 5, and your Android phone via that little Type-C connector, which is very, very good. So in terms of compatibility, it has to be the Razer that takes it. You also need to bear in mind you do get an auxiliary port and an auxiliary cable so you can connect it into an Xbox pad should you choose to. But there we are, in terms of compatibility, Razer definitely take it. Now in terms of the audio, both of these headsets sound pretty good. For the price that they are, I was quite surprised. Now with the Razer, they stick with that standard Razer routine of just heavily weighting towards the base of these 40 millimeter drivers. And in gaming, it sounds exceptionally good. I'm not gonna take away from that. Explosions are crisp and sharp. Environmental audio in single player games is very, very good. When it comes to listening to music and watching movies, however, they do start to fall apart a bit there. You're not really hearing it as intended. So in movies you get a lot of washout with the bass. Anything that starts to rumble, you sort of start to lose a bit of speech. When you're listening to music, the bass becomes remarkably overwhelming. Now with the Corsair HS70 Pro, again with gaming, it all sounds pretty good. These are using 50 millimeter drivers. Now the bass is definitely there, but not as deep, deep down as on the Razer, but it is very much there and it's very present and it's very natural. With these being slightly bigger drivers, you do get a bit of additional volume from them. And when it comes to watching movies or listening to music, the HS70 Pro just, they're a cut above what the Razer are. They just are. Razer's great for gaming, but equally so is the HS70 Pro. But when it comes to listening to music or watching movies, the Corsair definitely takes it. The problem with that is a, an issue with the compatibility. The Corsair is less compatible with less things than the Razer devices. So if you were to be listening to music on these, you'd be sort of limited to your PS4 or your PC. Whereas with the Razer, you can connect them to your Android phone with the Type-C receiver. But ultimately, when it comes to raw audio, I'd have to give this to the Corsair. I think they just sound better. They sound punchier and they're better across the board, especially with music and movies. But there we are. Let's move on. So in conclusion, going through the tests I've just done, then the Barracuda X takes it on overall score, but that's mainly because of its compatibility and what comes in the box. In terms of just 
gaming overall. If you're a PC or PlayStation gamer, I'd recommend the HS70 Pro. The mics are just as good, the sound is slightly better, and they're both remarkably comfortable headsets. If, however, you are a multi-platform gamer, then you definitely want to go for the Barracuda X. That compatibility with the Switch, the PC, PS4 and 5, and your Android phone device. And let's bear in mind, they do have the auxiliary connector, so if you want to play on Xbox as well, you can. Overall, the Barracuda X takes it, but as I said, if you're a PC gamer, then go for the Corsair. But there we are. If you did like what you saw, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you do want to see more content like this, do remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. The links to both of these will be in the description below, both for my standalone reviews and to buy them through my Amazon affiliate link, which I do get a bit of a kickback for, but not a great deal, and it all goes back into the channel. But anyway, there we are. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, noon, wherever you are in the world. Goodbye from me.